An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. The genuine expression. The soul. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, zany, politically incorrect, your common gilded style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. reason I, I wanted to come on is, is I, I wanted to discuss the changes on, on Sue. Uh, as you know, there's a lot of changes with this 3.0 upgrade, uh, and some of them are for the better, I think. Uh, the new channels, that's a, that's a good thing, and I've made use of it, and, and it's really helping out our the movement for the activists and, and for Anonymous. We, I've got a, a channel for both, and, and they're doing pretty well for being just not even a week old. Uh, but there are also some things that are going on that aren't aren't exactly desirable, I don't think. Uh, but that's really not what I came here to, came on to talk about today. What I want to talk about is this uh, reputation score that, that they have in testing now. Before and we get into I'm, that, and I, and I want to address that first, but before we get into that, for, and real quickly, before, uh, there may be a lot of people out there who's not familiar with what Sue is. Sue is a social media site, much like Twitter, much like Facebook, just, uh, just your typical social media site. It is very heavy as far as activism goes and bringing awareness and things like that. It is by invite only, so if you'd like to try out Sue, you can email me at fightingatyranny at gmail.com, and uh, I can send you out a invite to Sue. But I just wanted to set that up because <clears> – <throat> Excuse me. We're saying the word Sue, and some people may not be familiar with it. So Sue is basically a social media site. Uh, go ahead, Sitbull. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Well, thank, thank you. I, I, I should have thought of that myself. Uh, but it, anyhow, uh, the this new reputation score thing. It, first of all, whatever the purpose is, and I'm not real clear on on even what the purpose is. But whatever the purpose is, I I don't find that to be a very good name. Uh, a reputation score, and, and and this is going to be, it's going to use, use uh, various data on you that that they collect, uh, and they they call it a, a sorting process is what they are calling it. Uh, but I, you know, I I like to talk about what we've seen from it so far, and it is just in testing, but uh, it was it was uh, cited as a reason for one of the users who's who's a pretty popular user. Uh, the guy that has the top 100 list for the TSU users, uh, his he had noticed that his earnings were falling off, and so he ran some tests and found that his his uh, his share of the monetization was uh, was cut in half, and he wanted to know why and, and talk to support about it, and and the new reputation score was was cited as a reason. I guess there was a problem some some time back when TSU first started. Sue, TSU, I, I call it, I kind of interchange the two. Uh, anyways, he, he had had a problem that they banned his account temporarily because he was using a bot. Well, it turned out he wasn't using a bot. Everything he was doing was manually done, and they, he, his account was reinstated. But that was used as criteria for cutting back his share of the monetization, cutting it in half. Uh, I'm not real comfortable with that. I don't know if if many people out there are going to be comfortable with that, whatever their reason for this is, whatever the purpose of this reputation scoring is, uh, I just don't see how the purpose could be anything that's, that's something we would want to have on, on there. Uh, it seemed to me that it's it's a, something that no matter, like I said, no matter what their purpose is, could be very, very much abused. Uh, it could be used to get people out of the way that they don't want there, uh, you know, it could be used to suppress speech. It could be used for a lot of different things. 
I'm not saying that that it will be or that it that it has necessarily. I don't know all the facts, but I I have spent much of the last couple of days dealing with it and 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 looking at it, and it, it just something about it that just doesn't feel right. It, 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 it's bothersome to me, uh, and especially when you see someone like that who's who, who's always helped t- the Sue platform. Uh, he's got a website that helps the new users to learn how the system works on on Sue, which is a good thing. Uh, the top 100 list is is not the the top people on there necessarily, or the most popular, or what. It, it's basically it's the top 100 users to follow, best users to follow. And that means you'll get good interaction with them. They're active users. They'll they don't spam. They you know things like that. They're they have interesting content, original content. Uh, so it's it's very helpful. It was helpful to me when I came to to Sue to build up a a following that was not a bunch of dead weight on your on your list. Uh, I used it for that purpose, and it, and it really helped me out a lot. I really don't care about the money on on Sue, and I don't care about notoriety on there necessarily other than how how those things can be used to get my message out there that, that exactly. you know I, I do i do keep an eye on where i am on the list on on things like that because that affects my influence with others and and so it's important in that respect it's as far as a pat on the back i don't need that i, I already feel good enough about myself so you know uh I, I don't need to build myself up or anything like that it's it's not about me uh, it's about the message, and, and Sue is a great place to get a message out. It's, it's, it's awesome for that. And, <clears throat> One and of I the don't things want that we... To, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, I was just going to say that I don't want to come across as I'm against Sue in any way. Uh, I'm all for the, the betterment of the platform. Absolutely. It's, it's in all of our interests to make it better. Uh, but one thing is on the Alexa ratings, I don't know if, if you're familiar with it or not, but the, Sue has been falling just recently quite a bit on there and I saw a chart someone posted today that it was down even more uh, and, and I do believe that some of the things in this new 3.0 upgrade are the reason for it and we have a lot of users that are leaving a lot of good users that are leaving and I, I'd like to see that stopped if we can uh, one of the things that brought me to sue was the censorship of Facebook um, I've had posts deleted. I've had, you know, a lot of censorship on Facebook. So one of the things, and I've been on Sue for about a year and a half now, and um, I'm an active user on there. I post every day, you know, when I, when I can and things like that. But one of the things that, that brought me to Sue was the censorship that Facebook is bringing out. Where I'm going with this is we live in a world of al- algorithms now. Everything is an algorithm. One of the telltale signs of a closing society is a list. And you being an activist, you understand what I'm saying. One of the signs of Thank of Germany you. as an ending society was the list. How do you think whenever the poop hits the fan, so to speak, that there's a mass roundup, that there's a quick mass roundup? It's because of list, whether it's a gun list or whether it's a activist list or whatever. One of the things that social media can do, and we're seeing our, our data being sold to the NSA and other things, is it groups us. It puts us on a list. So whenever the noose is tightening up, bam, through al- algorithms, they know who we are uh, based off of posts, based off of being an activist, based off of doing a blog talk show, things of that nature. We're, through algorithms, we can be put on a list. So whenever a closing – one, of, I said a while ago, one of the telltale signs of a closing society – is the roundup, and the roundup comes from a list. So I'm not saying Sue's doing that, you know, maybe not knowingly, but but what, where I'm going with it is through the Internet now, through algorithms, through the NSA program, it's much easier for them to put together a list so that when the society does close or we are getting to that pivotal point, it will be easy for the roundup. Does that make any kind of sense, what I'm trying to say? Yes, it does. And, and you know, being an activist and, and being a member of Anonymous, things like that that's something that i do pay attention to because i i see that down the road uh i'm hoping that that's something that we can change but as of yet we we haven't changed it to the point that that it's not something to be concerned about uh and and you're absolutely right this whatever algorithm they're using is going to be storing things it's going to be creating some something of a list and and that can be accessed and used for other purposes, not just the purpose they intended for. So yeah, that that could be a concern also. Uh, 
but you know, I I, I really want to get into this issue because it it concerns all of us, and I think it's hurting the platform right now. I I think it it really is, and, and Sue is is the best social site out there. There the management is capable of out of the box outside the box thinking. Uh, they're willing to try new things, and that's why it's it's different. That's why it's sets above all the other social platforms is because of that willingness to to try new things and when you when you are willing to try new things you have to accept that you are going to make mistakes and and i think this may be one of them uh and i would hope they would see what i'm doing and what i'm you know me speaking out is i I would hope they would see it as what it is which is is feedback i i care about the the welfare of the platform for my own sake and for the sake of, of a lot of my friends so that we have a place to get our message out. And right now it's the place I know of. I'd like to see it stay that way. Uh, another thing that I saw mentioned was that it's it's awfully hard to grow through and, and to improve it and, and such as that on only 10% of the revenue. Well, I'll agree that that is probably pretty difficult. Uh, they're the ones that set the numbers up, but I would not be opposed at all to adjusting that to where Sue would be a better and stronger platform for us. I, I would have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, I'm looking at the good of, of the platform for all of us, and for you know, it's one of the last bastions of free speech that I know of. You you, you hit it right on the head about Facebook, all that censor, censorship. You know, I have a, about three times as many people on Facebook that are following me that, than I do here, but the censorship makes my ability to get a message out far less than what it is here. So I don't want to put put Sue down too much here. Uh, I, I think Sue is a, a great social platform. Uh, I think its its growth has shown that it is, but I think there we've hit a bump in the road, and, you, you know, it's almost like the old cliche that there's a fork in the road, which way are we going to go? Because one of those directions is the wrong road, and... So we we need to look at it objectively. We need to all be be adults about it and and, and have a dialogue and, and discuss what's best for the platform and, and then go from there and and you know try and do the the smartest thing that we can. Uh, I'm I'm not looking to rock the boat. Uh, as you know, I'm not one to rock boats. I I prefer to think them when I when I go to attack a boat and that that's uh you know and when I say that I'm talking about issues uh, and and I'm. You know, I'll say pretty much anything at times, uh, and I get attention from people from, from that. Uh, I also try to be funny. I try to do a lot of things that, that help to get a message out. But being an activist, I also try to make a change when I see something going the wrong way. And and I definitely see something that's hurting this great platform. I want I want to see if we could stop the bleeding and, and stop the, the good users from, from leaving. And One so, of the things I noticed whenever I got to Sue was um, <clears throat> it seemed like it was it was managed, for lack of a better term, it was managed by the users. You know what I mean? Um, you didn't have that big brother breathing down your back feel like you do on Facebook. You didn't have that, well, I want to say this, but, you know, I don't want it to be censored like you do on Facebook. That was one of the things that really attracted me to Sue because I'm an in-the-fed guy. So I felt like Sue was a very comfortable platform for me to go on and talk about the Federal Reserve from 1913 all the way to now without having that big brother feel. You said it a while ago that Sue, and I don't want to rock the boat either. I love Sue. I think it's a great platform. I love the people on Sue. I've had many people uh, in my friends list from Sue on the show. I've had Bitcoin dude on, and, and we talked about alternative currency. I've had you on, and we've talked about a plethora of things. So there's a there's a reason and a need for Sue, but you said it a while ago. It seems like it's at a fork in the road. If you go to the left, then it looks like you're going to be the stepbrother of Facebook. If you go to the right, it's your true freedoms and liberties. So I hope the management team at Sue does take the the right road. You know, the the one that takes you back to the, to the feel of Sue. You know, the the activism of Sue, the bringing awareness of Sue. I'm with you as far as the revenue goes. I'm not in it for the money. I mean, I'm, I make maybe 40, 50 cents a day on Sue, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the message. I'm worried about getting this country back, about getting our elections back, about about stopping all this freedom and, and liberty-grabbing agendas that's taking place. So if they find it hard to operate on a 10% revenue, I can understand that. I mean, I'm a businessman. I understand that 10% is hard to grow a business with. 
What I'm worried about is the censorship of it and the algorithms of it, and not just Sue, but Facebook and all your other social media sites as well. What do you What do you see, uh, Sid and Bull, that we can do as users of Sue to bring attention to this and to make sure that you know Sue has our best interest in mind? Well, I, my advice to people would be to to be respectful, but to put your put your opinion out there, make it seen. Uh, and and I my experience has been that that uh, management at, at Sue and and especially Brian Tigner are very receptive to it and, and they don't get insulted. And I know it makes their job hard to have the, a lot of this feedback coming at them, but he you know he has been willing to to accept it to to feel the comments and, and everything, and and to try and work on this. And he's been very helpful to me with the setting up of my new channels and, and things. I don't want to put anyone down, and I don't want to make his job harder, but I would like to see him look good because if he looks good, then that, that means he did the right thing, and if he did the right thing, that that's good for all of us. Uh, if if we didn't have someone like that that was willing to, to enter into dialogue and, and to listen to what you have to say and, li- and listen to that feedback, then failure would be almost certain. Uh, you know, it, it's grown pretty fast, and when, when things grow fast, they are harder to manage. Uh, Facebook, it took them 10, 10 months to get to their first million users. Uh, in less than half that time, Sue is up to five, almost 5 million. Uh, wow. That's phenomenal. That, you know, that's that phenomenal is. growth. And, and the, I think the reason for it are several. It's, I mentioned that they're out-of-the-box thinking. I, I mentioned a few other things. But, you know, they're, they're insistent on original content, on not copyrighted material, and things like that, I, I, and, and the way they do things, just, you know, for instance, paying the users. They do that, according to Sebastian, they do that because it's the right thing to do. I agree it's the right thing to do. Uh, just like if if it requires more of the a higher percentage of the revenues for them to keep growing the platform, I'm all for that. Uh, but it, I think it's the great platform that it is because of those things because of the original content you know you don't you don't get on sue and see a whole bunch of google images and and things like that there's some of it yeah but those people don't become very popular very fast either the ones that do the the original content and and it has substance to it they have they have a message to get out those are the ones that become very popular and you know i'm not the kind of person that's been real popular all my life not at all I have a little popularity on there, and the reason for it is, is because people can resonate with the message that I'm trying to put out. They, they get it. Uh, there's a lot of people on Sue that get it, and and it's, I believe, if, if any real change is going to come, some of it at least is going to come from there. Uh, I agree. We have some of the best activists, and I, I, I'm I'm amazed at the activists that we have at Sue. Some of the best there are in the world are, are there on Sue, and you know a lot of people recognize the tool that it can be and are using it for that and that encourages me.